Rubber game between the Phillies and the Mariners in Philadelphia. We pick things up in the top of the second. Cole Hamels on the hill for the Phillies facing Kendris Morales, who's suddenly red hot, and he stays that way. Deep to center field. That one will get out. Fourth of the year for Morales. He has three in the last seven games after hitting just one in his first 55 games of the season. One to nothing Mariners. Bottom three, two on, two outs for Marlon Byrd. He singles off James Paxton. That'll play Jimmy Rollins. The game is tied up at one apiece. Bottom four, it's three to one Mariners now. Andres Blanco lines one off the leg of Paxton, and then he gathers himself, gets the ball, and throws it down the right field line. That'll be an E1. So the runners move up to second and third. Take another look, line drive right off Paxton's leg. The trainers would come out, take a look, but he would eventually stay in the game. But the inning wouldn't get any better. Next batter, Cole Hamels. The pitch, and it's going to get away. That's a pass ball on Jesus Sucre. Will Nieves comes in to score, and it's a 3-2 ball game. Later in the inning, 3-3 now. Chase Utley facing Paxton. Utley bloops it out to right field, and Cano can't get it. Rollins will score from second. It's a... 4-3 Phillies lead. Paxton allows four runs in four innings, but only one of them earned because of his error. We go to the ninth. Jonathan Papelbon trying to save it. Still 4-3 facing Morales. And a called strike three. The Phillies have taken two of three from the Seattle Mariners as Kendris Morales goes down looking on strikes. So the Phillies win it 4-3. The bullpen was great. They go four scoreless innings, striking out nine. Hamels improves to 7-6, and six, but does see his streak of eight straight quality starts come to an end. He goes five innings, allowing three earned runs. Paxton falls to 3-1, and one, taking his first major league loss in his 10th game.